Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From the Guardian under the main headline of Red Bull's Christian Horner calls loss of both cars. The worst nightmare. Summary of headline article. The Red Bull team principal. Christian Horner. Described the failure of both his cars in the final stages of the Bahrain Grand Prix as his team's worst nightmare. The reigning world champion, Max Verstappen, who had been on for second place, failed to score, as did his Red Bull teammate Sergio Perez. Verstappen was left angry with his team. While their retirements allowed Lewis Hamilton to capitalize with an unlikely third place for Mercedes. I can't remember the last time that happened to us but obviously it's your worst nightmare. He said. Whilst we are currently not necessarily performance-wise fighting with these guys. This is not damage limitation but it's a really, really great result. From BBC under the main headline of two teams. Three trophies left. Who will win what? Summary of headline article. The final few weeks of the season feel perfectly poised, with Liverpool and Manchester City about to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And with so much at stake. The Champions League final on the 28th of May is obviously a possibility too. Route to Champions League final for Liverpool and Manchester City Liverpool Man City quarterfinal. Benfica Atletico Madrid semi-final Villarreal, Bayern Munich Chelsea, Real Madrid who will win what? From here, Arsenal 0-2 Liverpool. Jurgen Klopp excited for title fight with Man City for some reason. And I don't exactly know why. I think Liverpool will win the Premier League. Crystal Palace 0-0 Manchester City. Manchester City struggled to score goals. Guardiola if I'm wrong and City end up empty-handed. Or Liverpool just win the Carabao Cup. Then their seasons would be seen by some as a failure. From Mail Online under the main headline of Steven Gerrard tells Arsenal winger Bakayo Saka to Toughen up. Summary of headline article. They didn't commit any fouls today? Replied Gerard incredulously. Perhaps already aware Arsenal had edged the foul count 14 to 13. Arsenal. 4, 2, 3, 1. Leno 6.5. Saws 7. White 6.5. Gabriel 6. Tierney 6.5. Partey 7. Jacker 6. Saka 8. Pepe 69. Odegaard 7. Holding 86. Smith Row 7. Lacazette 6. Inketia 78. He'll learn and he'll learn quick. In defense of Gerard and Villa. Saka was only fouled three times in the 69 minutes he was on the pitch. It wasn't anything that will stop Saka reporting for international duty this week or sharing a dinner table with his England teammate Mings. Steven Gerrard. Right. Said injuries come on, on the back of earning a living in English football are deserved victory. Tightened the Gunners' grip on fourth place. From Mail Online under the main headline of Fritz upsets Nadal to win first ATP Masters 1000 title. It Indian Wells. Summary of headline article. Taylor Fritz has snapped Rafael Nadal's 20-match winning streak as the Californian claimed his first ATP Masters 1000 title at Indian Wells. But it was the 24-year-old. Ranked 20th. Who emerged victorious to finish 6 to 3 7 to 6 5 over the world number 4 with Fritz becoming the first American to win the tournament since Andre Agassi in 2001 American Taylor Fritz left beat Rafael Nadal in straight sets to claim the title at Indian Wells Fritz beat an out of sorts 
Nadal 6-3-7-6. 5. To claim just his first ATP Masters 1000 title earlier. Poland's Iga Swiatek won the women's title with a commanding victory over Maria Sakkari. Swiatek rose to number two in the world after a 6-4-6 to 1 win over her Greek opponent. We've already started a pretty cool rivalry and I think it's going to last a few more years so. It's pretty exciting, Swiatek said in her on-court interview. From Metro under the main headline of Ancelotti reveals message to Real Madrid players after crushing Barcelona loss. Summary of headline article. Carlo Ancelotti endured a terrible evening on Sunday. Picture. Getty Images. Carlo Ancelotti says Real Madrid's 4-0 thrashing at the hands of Barcelona was all his fault. Apologizing to fans for the humiliating El Clasico loss. January signing Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang scored twice. With Ronald Arroyo and former Manchester City star Ferran Torres getting the others. The Italian was not making excuses after the match but tried to attract the blame to himself and away from his players. I have told the players that it was my fault it's hard because it's a Clásico. Because losing against Barcelona hurts. The break is good now. Because we can get players back, he said. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Yes. Mistakes have been made by England and Eddie Jones but the talent simply is not there. Summary of headline article. Eddie Jones is gaslighting England, and the RFU is just letting him do it. From the Telegraph under the main headline of England player ratings versus West Indies. Joe Root and Ben Stokes again shine as Chris Wokes falters. Summary of headline article. Here Telegraph Sport gives its verdict on how the players performed in paradise. Four-tenths Zach Crawley quick runs setting the tempo on the final day with an unselfish thrash after his first innings duck. Young players are responding to Root. Especially the batsmen studying his methods. Eight-tenths Dan Lawrence if he continues to learn from Root the art of shot selection then he has a chance. Because he has the talent. Some supreme strokes in his 91 and his quirky off-spin has been more effective than Roots. From Metro under the main headline of Paul Mitchell set to leave Monaco amid Manchester United. Speculation. Summary of headline article. Paul Mitchell is interested in returning to the Premier League. Photo by Valerie Hache, AFP. Photo by Valerie Hache, AFP via Getty Images. Manchester United have been given a significant boost in their hopes of hiring Paul Mitchell this. Summer as Monaco have decided to sack the sporting director. According to reports in France. Mitchell made his name at Southampton where he worked with Mauricio Pochettino as the Saints became one of the most exciting teams in the Premier League. Mitchell has been with Monaco for 18 months but he was Rangnick's guest at Manchester United's FA Youth Cup fixture a fortnight ago, sparking speculation that he could make a move to Old Trafford. Rangnick and Mitchell at a recent United Youth game. Picture. MUTV. Mitchell is a United fan and has family in the Northwest. More. Prospective Chelsea owner Nick Candy issues hands off warning to Manchester United over Thomas. Tuchel for more stories like this. Check our sport page. From Mail Online under the main headline of Sir Clive Woodward. The Six Nations showed that England are outdated. Summary of headline article. The Six Nations showed that England are outdated whilst Ireland Grand Slam champions France have a future to look forward to. For all those individual qualities England don't have the game plan or even the attacking ambition to beat the best in the world. 
and because they don't have a game plan Jones and England don't have a gun 15 in mind. The skill, speed and physicality of this France team is off the scale but there is also now a rigid discipline. France are six nations and Grand Slam champions after ending their club versus country row Ireland. A Ireland are beginning to purr and but for a sloppy opening half hour in Paris could even be grand. Slam champions. From Metro under the main headline of Antonio Conte claims Arsenal have advantage over Spurs in. Top 4 race. Summary of headline article. Antonio Conte guided Spurs to a 3-1 win over West Ham on Sunday. Action images via Reuters. Antonio Conte believes Arsenal have an advantage over Tottenham in the race to finish fourth in the Premier League because the Gunners have been working longer with Mikel Arteta. Spurs kept up the pressure on their North London rivals with a 3-1 victory over West Ham on Sunday. Spurs are due to face Arsenal in the Premier League before the end of the season in a game that could determine who secures the final Champions League place. But Conte feels Arsenal have a good advantage over Spurs. The only way to put pressure on Arsenal is to get three points to win, Conte said after Spurs. Beat West Ham. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day thank you for your support goodbye.